Renault Air 4. The realization that, despite increased traffic, the world above us remains unhindered led to the creation of the Air 4. Symbol of freedom and independence. Air 4 thus asserts that the air will be the new highway of the future. The original icon has been modernly reinterpreted in the Air 4's design. All carbon fiber, the Air 4 has the same basic contours and shapes as its predecessor, but it has been redesigned to incorporate features like lift and thrust that the original could only have imagined. Terabytes of data were produced after hours of computations and testing, using artificial intelligence and generative design techniques. Each piece of data was meticulously modeled and examined to improve the design. Once that was finished, trials in the actual world could start. The AR4 has four two-blade rotors, one at each corner of the vehicle, in place of wheels. The driver can access the cabin by lifting the front hinge shell, and the body rests in the center of the rotor frame. Powered by two 22,000 mAh lithium polymer batteries, the AR4 can reach a maximum horizontal speed of 26 meters per second and an inclination of 45 degrees during flight, with a maximum inclination of 70 degrees. PAL Vi Liberty The 2018 Geneva Motor Show is where the first ever production spec PAL Vi Liberty flying car made its official public premiere. Currently working on the final certification process to make the Liberty Road Sky legal, the UK-founded Dutch company describes the car plane helicopter vehicle as a significant breakthrough in the evolution of flying cars. The certification procedure, according to PAL V, will start following the conclusion of the Geneva Motor Show. Although pricing for the PAL V Liberty flying car will be determined by demand, pre-orders for the vehicle have already begun with an initial booking fee of $10,000. The flying car will be available in two variants, Sport and Pioneer. Liberty Palvi. Flying car can prepare for takeoff in five to 10 minutes. In contrast to the several flying automobile concepts that we have seen thus far, the Palvi Liberty is a three-wheeled flying device that resembles an autogyro rather than a car that runs on jet fuel. Additionally, it requires some manual labor to raise the rotors because it is intended to be used as both an automobile and an aircraft. This implies that in order to operate the Liberty, a person must complete appropriate aviation training and obtain a valid pilot's license. Aeromobile 4.0 Aeromobile is moving closer to completing certification under the EASA's CS23 criteria before the end of 2023. In flight testing, the company has met important airworthiness targets for its two-seat 4.0 flying car. Aside from requesting European permission for the 4.0 as an M1 category road vehicle, a Slovakia-based private firm plans to apply for FAA certification in the United States. The folding wing concept underwent flight testing in September 2020, with three operational prototypes completed to date. This week, Aeromobile said that it has completed over 300,000 hours of technical work and over 10,000 hours of virtual and real testing since beginning the EASA type certification process in 2019. Cyclotech Cruise Up presenting Cruise Up, an air vehicle from Cyclotech that embodies the advantages of cyclorotor technology, including 360 degree thrust vectoring, in a small, passenger focused form. Cruise Up concept is intended to address the individual air transportation demands that are anticipated to arise over the next 10 years. It is based on 15 years of cyclorotor technology development, wind tunnel testing, and experience from more than 500 flights of its technology demonstrate. Since pollution-intensive ground-based transportation will be replaced by sustainable individual air mobility this century, it opens up new opportunities for daily activities in a comfortable, straightforward, and safe manner. Cyclotech presents a new breed of aircraft to support its position as a pioneer in the industry. Cyclorotors are the electric propulsion mechanism that CruiseUp uses to ensure the safety of the two passengers and the environment. In contrast to rotors and propellers, the cyclorotors' moving parts are enclosed and the cruise-up configuration's unique design protects the passenger compartment. Cruise-up's six cyclorotors offer a high degree of redundancy, enabling safe flight and landing. With two of the rotors positioned along the vehicle's length axis, the arrangement of the six rotors allows for precise sideways and backward flying, 
as well as mid-air braking without the need to tilt or bank the aircraft. Ex Turismo For many years, futuristic films have explored the concepts of cyberpunk style, flying cars, floating cities. Thus, aeronautical designs have been closely linked to humanity's future. ALI Technologies Inc., a Japanese company, is bringing the future closer and enabling every child of the 1990s to realize their dreams of being a Star Wars fan with its Ex Turismo Limited Edition Hoverbike. Presented to the public during a public flight, the luxury Air Mobile made its debut in September 2022 at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Although the concept of flying bikes has been discussed for a few years, its Turismo goes beyond testing and will be made accessible to the general public via its U.S. parent firm, Airwinds Technologies, Inc. The Star Wars trilogy served as inspiration for the Ex Turismo Hoverbike which is expected to become a new icon of next-generation air mobility and take to the skies at an unprecedented rate. The bike boasts a 40 km cruising range, a top speed of 80 to 100 km per hour, thanks to its stylish outer design. X Turismo is powered by four electric motors and an internal combustion engine as part of a hybrid propulsion system. The six propellers, two main and four smaller ones, are propelled by the internal combustion engine, Xpeng X2, Xpeng Aero HT, a subsidiary of Xpeng Motors, was established in 2020 and is situated in Guangzhou, Guangdong, China. Electric, vertical takeoff and landing passenger aircraft are designed and manufactured by Xpeng Aero HT for advanced air mobility. Zhao Deli established the business as high-tech in Dongguan, Guangdong, China in 2013. Xpeng Motors eventually acquired the company. He Xiaoping is the chairman of Xpeng Aero HT as well as the chairman and CEO of Xpeng Motors. At the moment, Zhao Deli leads Xpeng Aero HT as president. Wang Tan is a co-founder, vice president, and chief designer. Zheng Kongwei is Xpeng Aero HT's vice president. Xpeng Motors, a prominent Chinese all-electric vehicle and technology company, was founded in 2014 by He Xiaoping, Henry Xia, and He Tao. The company designs, develops, and produces intelligent automobiles that seamlessly integrate with the internet and utilize the latest advancements in artificial intelligence. The air car Italian designer Pierpaolo Lazzarini, renowned for his groundbreaking vehicle concepts spanning water, land, and sky, is back with another revolutionary idea. The air car. This futuristic 4x4 jet flying aircraft aims to transform travel by allowing passengers to bypass road traffic and soar through the skies. With a top speed of 750 km per hour and a range of 200 km on jet fuel, the air car could be a game changer in the transportation industry. Measuring just 6 meters in length, compact air car is designed to accommodate one pilot and three passengers. Its carbon fiber monocoque bodywork contributes to its ultra-lightweight form, while four rotatable Rolls-Royce jet engines provide the power needed to propel it through the air. The vehicle's efficiency is evident in both its size and speed. The air car is a concept proposed by the Rome-based Lazzarini Design Studio and is set to be powered by aero engines created by Rolls-Royce. A unique feature of the air car is that each of the four jet engines can independently adjust its inclination and rotation ensuring stability and allowing it to fly in a straight trim or with various inclinations depending on the cruising requirement. Currently, the aircar remains a conceptual flying vehicle. However, lead designer and founder of Lazzarini Design Studio, Pierpaolo Lazzarini, is determined to bring this vision to life. He aims to create a full-scale prototype by 2024, paving the way for the aircar to hit the market in the future. Airspeeder Crewed MK4 the Aluda Air Speederman K4 is a fully redesigned, full-scale, crewed racing hydrogen electric VTOL aircraft. Designed for high-speed, low-altitude racing, it holds one pilot and reaches a maximum speed of 360 kph, 225 mph, with a flight range of 300 km, 188 miles. The aircraft's maximum takeoff weight is expected to be 950 kilograms, 2,094 pounds, powered by 1,000 kilowatts, 1,340 horsepower, Thunderstrike hydrogen electric turbo generator. The company anticipates its first crewed races will take place in 2024. The Airspeeder MCAP-4 features eight ducted propellers housed in four propeller housings. 
each containing two propellers with 360-degree dual gimbaled capability. Each propeller is driven by an individual electric motor. The front ducted propellers are mounted on the front sides of the fuselage, while the rear ducted propellers are positioned on the top rear of the box wings. Stylishly modern, the Airspeeder Mech 4 resembles a streamlined Formula One racing car. It has a canopy over the cockpit, a low foreplane, a mid-fuselage box wing, and a rear horizontal stabilizer mounted on top of double vertical stabilizers. Air intake grills on each side of the cockpit cool the hydrogen electric turbo generator. The airframe, made of carbon fiber composite, measures 5.73 meters in length, 3.62 meters, 11 feet, 10.52 in in width, and 1.44 meters 4 feet 8.69 in in height, and features fixed skid landing gear. Lazarus LMV-496 The Lazarus LMV-496, created by French mechanical engineer Ludovic Lazarus, is a stunning vehicle that combines the functionality of a motorcycle with the capability of a hoverbike. Lazarus, known for his futuristic designs, founded his eponymous company to bring his imaginative concepts to life. Lazarus introduced the LM847, the unique four-wheel tilting superbike powered by a Maserati engine. This motorcycle featured a distinctive and unconventional appearance. The LM847 was later transformed into the LM410 quad bike, which carried forward Lazarus' signature features. Three years later, Lazarus unveiled the LMV496, a vehicle that not only traverses roads but also takes to the skies. This jet-powered hoverbike doubles as a road-legal motorcycle, making it a standout in the growing market of hoverbike. On the road, the Lazarus LMV-496 is driven by an electric motor with a range of approximately 100 kilometers, 60 miles. In flight, it uses four horizontal jet engines, one for each wheel, each capable of generating 1,300 horsepower, allowing the bike to hover for up to 10 minutes. These jet turbines are powered by kerosene, enabling the electric motor to conserve energy while airborne. To transition from road to air, a simple button press shifts the wheels from a vertical to a horizontal position in about 60 seconds, accompanied by the roar of the four jet engine. While flying, the bike's dashboard displays essential data such as speed, location, and altitude. Joysticks on each handlebar allow for precise control during flight. Hyundai's Flying Vehicle Unveiled Hyundai Motor Group's Advanced Air Mobility AAM company unveiled the SA2, its latest electric vertical takeoff and landing EV tall vehicle concept at CES 2024. This pilot plus four passenger vehicle represents a significant milestone in Supernal's mission to commercialize safe, efficient, and affordable everyday passenger air travel. Building on the vision of the SA1, which debuted at CES 2020, the SA2 merges innovative aerospace engineering with Hyundai Motor Group's automotive aesthetic design. It aims to revolutionize urban transportation by providing a faster way for people to travel from point A to point B. Supernal plans to achieve commercial aviation safety levels and enable affordable manufacturing as it prepares to enter the market in 2028. From the beginning, Supernal has been on a mission to create the right product and the right market at the right time. That Jaiwan Shin, president of Hyundai Motor Group and CEO of Super. GACGOVGOV, an acronym for GAC On The Go Vertical Flight Electric Vehicle, is an innovative electric vehicle that can take off vertically like a drone. This single-seat Marvel is equipped with six rotors and is powered by GAC's proprietary Adigo autopilot system during flight. Imagine driving to a location, and instead of parking, having your car's upper part detach and fly off. That's the essence of Gove. The electrically powered base serves as a mobile pedestal for shorter commutes, or as a launch pad for the drone. Once the drone component returns and lands back on its pedestal, the entire structure functions like any other electric car. However, it remains a single-seater with foldable rotors. One of the standout features of the Gove is its remote control capability. While the drone is airborne, the car segment can autonomously drive itself to a charging station. GX Vision extends beyond individual ownership, envisioning a shared mobility future where users can share these vehicles. While GAC is pioneering this technology in China, US startup Aleph is also revolutionizing urban mobility with its Model A. 
Unlike many concepts, the Model A is a tangible reality, having secured approval from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. Aska A5 The four-seat Aska A5 is the size of an SUV, but with the touch of a button, it extends an array of electric propellers and converts into a cruise-capable EVTOL aircraft with an impressive hybrid range. The FAA has cleared it for flight time. The Aska A5 is equipped with four wheels and four seats. Similar to the Klein Vision, it can take off on a runway if available. However, unlike the Klein Vision, it can also take off from a very short runway or even without one, thanks to its electric VTOL system that deploys at the touch of a button. Additionally, unlike the Xpeng Aero HT, it can transition to an efficient, winged cruise mode to extend its range. The A5 might look unusual on the road, with its propellers and struts resembling a clog with a dish rack full of cutlery piled on top. But when the main rear wing and canard fold out, it becomes more coherent. It features six large propellers, four at the back and two at the front. In VTOL operations, these propellers lift the Aska off the ground, allowing it to hover. For forward flight, the two inner rear propellers can tilt forward, providing horizontal thrust in cruise mode, while the rest of the propellers are switched off, and the car's weight is supported by its wings. The Aska A5's cruise-capable VTOL system, with its two tilting propellers, is significantly more complex than most personal eVTOLs. It also features foldable front and rear wings that are self-deploying. The vehicle is equipped with electric motors in the wheels, capable of accelerating from 0 to 65 miles per hour, 105 kilometers per hour, in less than 5 seconds. Xpeng Aero TE VTOL Flying Car Xpeng showcased its innovative flying vehicle at the CES Consumer Tech Show in Las Vegas, standing out by providing a timeline for commercial sales. Named the Land Aircraft Carrier, this modular vehicle comprises two segments, flying module for low-altitude transport and a six-wheeled module for ground use. The Land Aircraft Carrier will initially be sold in China for over 1 million yuan, $140,000. According to the company, buyers will first be able to fly the vehicles in designated trial areas. While many competitors target business and public service sectors, Xpeng aims at the consumer market. At the Las Vegas event, Xpeng also displayed a concept electric vertical takeoff and landing flying car. Unlike the land aircraft carrier, this vehicle is a single unit capable of both flying and driving. Brian Gu, co-president of Xpeng Motors, emphasized that the company's products are primarily intended for the Chinese market, with ongoing discussions with regulators about a gradual rollout of flying cars in the country. The Durrani H1X personal eVTOL aircraft, such as the H1X, are expected to reach the U.S. market before electric air taxi, which several manufacturers aim to launch commercially in 2025. These smaller models may provide Americans with their first experience of eVTOL technology. The H1X is not just a vehicle, it's a leap towards a future where freedom of movement and sustainability coexist, said Doran Merdinger, CEO of Durrani. Our dedication to innovation, safety and the environment is embodied in every aspect of the H1X, marking a new chapter in transportation. Durrani highlighted the H1X's unusual tandem wing configuration which it claims will enhance lift and efficiency, calling it a leap in aerodynamic sophistication. The aircraft includes integrated wing landing gear with wing fences to manage airflow. Propulsion system is another defining feature. The H1X receives its lift from four in-wing electric ducted fans, a technology also used in the Lilium jet. These fans are designed to reduce noise and improve flight efficiency while keeping the blades enclosed, making the H1X suitable for urban environments.